Okay, they're not yet getting any, but they're very close to level 3. So level 3 is a huge power spike for them. I'm talking about getting action done on that top lane in, in terms of finding space. Surely that's going to be the point as well. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Moving in on Mushi, trying for it. The Gus comes out. Virgin jumps on Sol Rep. It's a good heal as well. Not quite enough as Liquid. They take down one. Zipanata can find anything else in return. DJ looking to chase down Kuroki, but Matuba Man, he wants to get himself another. Hitting it to DJ. Double kill for Matuba Man. And Liquid, they may not even be done yet. Free for free. Still has a decay available. They're going to look to chase him. They're going to be able to hold him in position. And Liquid, Surreno with the Undyne, gets themselves a third! The aggressive tri lane working out absolutely perfectly, and that's exactly what they needed to be seeing happening in this first four minutes, cleaning out the safe lane of Fnatic. Uh, it's going to be incredibly scary. I mean, bottom lane, mid one's come down. They want to try and find a kill. They know that Mind Control, one of the heroes, this has been left entirely on his own. But with the Vanguard, he's incredibly tanky. They're going to have to blow pretty much everything to try and get a kill. Oh As you can see, that's exactly the epicenter, but he goes for the CP out, won't make it. It's a good <laughs> attempt, but Fnatic, they get themselves the kill, but they really do have to blow absolutely everything. Sonic Wave and oh, Eddie to, to get the kill, and at the same time, he's going to realize there's a chance to move in on the 3 4 3. He's got a higher comes in. Morris tries to Tumabam and Liquid. They'll be happy to continue to just fight through this one. Looking at Mushi, Jarek's Kroki chasing him down. Jarek placing the exhibit himself, keeping himself okay for the time being. Mushi turns around, will finally finish him off. Dyer's but Tumabam finishes off DJ Kuroki, TP's at 1 8. Radiant's bottom tower it is under attack. A trade up at top, but the Phantom of Tumaman just continues to get these kills. Your double kill on the Sven. Oh, Liquid, they've already managed to get this tier one very low on the top lane, so they'd love to just finish it off now with this push. As Matuma Man, Jerex, and Kuroki come through. Ice Blast at the ready, and they'll look towards a high immediately, dropping it all out on him. He'll actually come forward with the Boros Drake, the blast. New damage of this, but the passover's still there, so he ticks out, goes down. Mid one reacting to this, tries for Kuroki. Kuroki, he's not going to make it. So a good reaction from Fnatic will shut down two of the heroes of Liquid. Uh, ultimates coming out, like we saw the Ice Blast showcase by Kuro and the, the top dive, maybe a bit aggressive. So Ohio looking to show his own blink off here. Radiant's Tonight. middle tower is under Liquid attack. Smoke, Liquid are actually going to get the wraparound from behind them here, Carter. He's going to be the one to front this. Can they bring down the Razor? Relatively tanky. Cherox is there. Does have false promise if necessary. The Tombstone will be dropped by Fig. He's trying to burn that part of it. There's the false promise coming out. Mighty Dog gets the call to be one. Ice Blast for Kroki. Takes down the quad. They'll pick off the Undying as well on the side. A good from Mushi holds that Liquid, but they'll be able to continue to change. It's all about the Fantasy. He comes in from Ohio. With the extra bringing fire alone, but he can't quite finish him. Mind Control gives. The to Ohio. Ohio jumps down. Fnatic losing four, finding nothing in return, and it may not be over yet. But Tumberman takes DJ as well, team wiping Fnatic. And this seems to be the liquid that people were expecting to see appear in game one. I'm gonna line up with this drown quad core is not necessarily when you want to be running when you are falling behind. Radiant's be bottom tower is under attack. Especially if they lose another fight. I mean, they're coming in, they make it the edge from the back of this smoke. Broke's gonna stop. Oh, no. the what the heck? A high no. Whipping that one, and he's going Dyer's to play with his life. The tanking is out. And Liquid, they're ready to come in and clean up more. A Sonic way. It will catch <laughs> Michael Joe, bring it in low, but he's not gonna bring him down. Jump forward for Michael Joe, getting back Dyer's here. Ice Blast, the place the Queen of Pain. Three down on Fnatic. And the way that started, I mean, Ohio, we saw in game one, his initiations were absolutely perfect. Build a fighter picking up the early hood makes it very hard for Fnatic's lineup to bring him down. Boots to travel Radiant's on my control as well, so he's able attack. to push out lanes, get himself involved in the action when needed. Look at him, very confident with coming out. My control hitting a two man call. The other boss comes out. DJ's going to take down Ohio. May just be lucky enough to get himself away. Kuroki will Dyer's be taken down in response. But my control comes back in again. Father coming across to join the fight. They'll look to TP away. 3-4-3. Three, three. He's just to about me. makes it. My control's got his eyes set on the big and kill. On that crop and he's going to get it. We see the call. Those are the purifying flames followed through from a dunk. So much new damage at this stage of the game. So much catch potential from Liquid. Phase was so dominant that Liquid just never really lost control. And Fnatic, they do have a, an okay amount of deep push. You know, Queen, Zang King, stuff like that. But stopping them right now. Oh. Uh, Oh, he will catch 
catch the burst charge onto Fodder with the epi, but we can see with the hook. Fodder, he does not give a hook. He takes no damage whatsoever. Mind control coming back in. Breaks down the Scorpion. And Fnatic, they're still trying to fight the two stone boards to be dropped. Fodder back it up, the Ivy Bug. Straight up to boost the three four three more to jump. Kept alive by Jax's full throw. They have lost Fodder, but Fnatic have lost three. And again, Liquid now with the tools at their disposal, you know, but Timberman's got a blink, helm, armlet, treads. 18 minutes in, they're so far ahead. Yeah, they'll just go ahead and try to get something done. And uh, even a support kill at this point, you know, it's it's not nothing. And Fnatic need every single thing that they can possibly get to make their way back in. Yeah, they'll tell what they can get. And a higher. Maybe setting up something here. Big with an epicenter. Jumps in. Onto mind control. Draws down as well. Oh Shepard to DJ. But DJ immediately having to let go is Liquid. Therefore, we'll find that mind control. Who can take it down though? From the Tunnel Man. Chunks with DJ. Fire falling over. The false promise for Jax. Keeping him alive. But this is looking to be a fantastic fight for Fnatic. The turnaround is there. And Fnatic fighting in a situation where they were pretty much 20,000 net worth behind. This is Roshan as well. He's finished at Agonim on Undying as his first time. Yeah, it's really good. If you think about the way that Liquid take team fights, a lot of their cores want to stay really close. So you have like Axe and Sven, clearly they both need to be pretty much in melee range, and the Razor is not the longest attack. range. And you need to stay relatively close as well for static Dyer's so you're, you're reliably hitting at least two targets i feel with every single decay and it's it's 10 strength that's sapped so it's a huge amount of damage it makes the hero squishier it's a very good item for this game oh my god on the to the on to Deliver the hood, doing a lot of fancy things as well for Jax. Coming about the oh. pure damage. Oh. Burst through for the Sonic Wave. They've lost the Razor. They've found themselves. They got three. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. They're going to be able to get the full team yeah. wide mind control down as well. 3 4 3. Ripping them up with this axe, stealing the strength away from Liquid and all of their hopes as well. Impressive performances and some great stories coming out of the tournament. But if Fnatic are able to pull this off, that's going to be a, a, just another insane storyline to add into the mix here at TI. Could be seeing a huge engagement here. Five man smoke coming in from Liquid. Let's see if Liquid can pull it off this time. The last few times, it's not gone great. Fnatic in a good position and hiding in the tree line. We'll see who's the first to reveal. War gets dropped down the spot. Oh, the Shaman. Think he get a jump on the Shaman? The Shaman. BKB. Like, that's how much they need magic to Radiance top team. tower is so, under yeah, attack. It's still feeling a little bit stressful here for Liquid. They have good high ground defense. They have heroes that can jump in, get very fast kills. And that's exactly what they're going to try to do now. Radiance Radiance top top jumps in. It's not to DJ, but you take him out. It's going to be a good start of the fight. No charge of course. Down 6 hit by Io. Coming in with a warm-up first strike. BKB's now coming out. Well, yeah, that turns the tide for Liquid. Looking to take down the two stop first. Now turn it towards 3 for 3 They'll find themselves a second. They've lost Kuroki. Mushi tried to pull it into mind control, but he himself decided he's got to run away. See on the sidelines if mid can play around this one turning back towards Fana Mushi as well. Thinking about coming back in, but he's got to get himself away from the Tumba Man. The Tumba Man can't work in the stun out. Force Pro is onto him, but a high with the Burrow Strike keeps the Sven held back. As Fnatic just desperately trying to get themselves out of this engagement. Who still has roughly the same, like 900 gold difference, not really too big. But yeah, normally the Radiance AA would like to have much more impact than he's attack. having in the game right now. This power Radiance is wrecked. Midquid reacting immediately, fortification. The Tunnel Man jumping in with the ball stretch. Mark the jump, who's going to catch? Mark the mid-roll with a post, that's from a higher in return. I throw it, it's going to come through, mid-roll falling low, but he did manage to blink out. A higher is going to be the focus. The burst out on the DK, killed with the war trap on Tavada. Doesn't matter this time, as Liquid will find themselves the second. So Liquid able to react and take down two from Fnatic. Very tense situation here for Fnatic. They do not have uh, buyback on DJ or 343, but everyone else should. Ohio's only like 10 gold away, so one creep and he's pretty much got it. But they need to react to this a little bit faster. 
And the wave right into the base. Right up, starting to tickle away at the racks. A high comes with the power of the monster. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Corps, uh, here we go. Look at down. Burst it immediately. The wards are out. The BKB's from Liquid are bombed. The back of those, a buyback from Ohio comes out, can Fnatic punish this play? Move on Mike Chop, but Jarek's with a false promise, keeping the axe safe. And mid one jumping forward. Can't get the latch on the bottom of Manny's, he blinks. Now, Liquid on the high ground, they may even want to go back in Liquid, bro. I'm it up. And they try to play around, looking to the side, they might actually call the Tumor Man alone. It's a big pick to find the spend. Now to the side, the three man going for Sonny Wave going through. Fire upon the Sheevers, a high over the upper oh, center. Right. 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 Fire to Wolves with a fire strike. Oh. They're looking for Karaki and Fnatic. He may have fallen short on the last couple of fights, but again, we're seeing the Fnatic mid-game team fight power that they were showing us earlier. It's back again. And Fada, he's going to be one to fall as well by the looks of his Ohio and Mushi. Chase down the Razor. Yeah. And again, Liquid managed to stabilize the game a little bit with the BKB purchases. But as we saw there, Fnatic, they can draw out the fight. They can fight around those timings, come back in hard. Then they would have just gotten murdered instantly, so. Liquid. Be careful around this ward from Fnatic, spotting them all out here. So what kind of a jump they get, Mimpon jumps in, immediate reaction for Jersey, he blinks away, Mike Chop goes back in, now, the two of that, jumping off the Mimpon, chucking it down, Quark's got right back immediately from the ward, and Quark Rocky, pulling low, but he's still alive, Liquid just trying to get the sister hell out of there, popping the BKBs and running, they know there's going to be a Quark boxing in, a higher, and he's going to be a Quark boxing in, a higher, and he's going to be a Quark boxing in, a higher, and he's going to be a Quark boxing in, they have lost a high hope, but they've got four. They got the melee racks as well. There's no buyback on mind control. 100 seconds dead. KB at least in the god strength. If you can get two ultimates and two BKBs, there is a chance they can defend this even outnumbered. It's only 10 more seconds on the God Strength, and then he'll be able to double ulti, double BKB. That could be enough. 60 seconds without. On the control for the defense, the man jumping in, BKB. Get the solo to DJ with a gun set. He's looking to focus three points, but the dead! Oh, no! It's oh, Sonic Wave to the fight! Two minutes without the Superman! Varda's trying to do it for the side, but Mushi DJ shackles Varda on the false promises that BKB's come out. Liquid, maybe looking for a last ditch defense. 3-4-3, three, 4 three, back Radiant's with the racks of four. Yeah. Moose is gonna get the objective by that one there. Mid-1's gonna the line, and the from They've done it! They've absolutely done it! Fanatic 2-0 Liquid! Middle Liquid are going Radiant's home middle in the last second of Fanatic! With one of the best performances I feel we've ever seen from them. You know, I wish... I really, really wish that Winter was on the Analyst panel right now because the only thing I would ask him is, how do you feel how wow. easy Fnatic's bracket was now? That's 2 owing Team Liquid. An absolute roller coaster, back and forth, and I can imagine for the players just a roller coaster of emotions. But at the end of the day, Fnatic just held their composure better. Some of the uh, the, the best team fights I feel we've seen in a while from from both sides.